Hello. Diamond Diva here. I'm not even mentioning any other name anymore. Everybody knows who it is and so on and so forth, but I'm not mentioning that name anymore. I'm tired of it. I'll explain all of that at some other time. One of the things that I was going to talk about that came from the last video was... I think it has to do with how people perceive me or whatever. Whatever your idea is supposed to be. So I get a comment the other day. I gotta find some more music. This shit's driving me crazy. Anyway, um... What is this? When... People start going through all kinds of changes about you sound like this, you sound like that, this, da 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 or you always sound so down. Why don't you smile? Okay, now that that's over. I suffer from clinical depression. Okay, now that we're done with that. I don't go Chester Cheese and people all day long. Never have, never will. Anybody that gets to know me, they know this is it. Cut and dry. What you see is what you get. I don't give a damn what you see on my face right now. I don't, I'm not going to go running and hiding, trying to put this on that. No. I have on right now, eyeliner, top and bottom waterline. I have on mascara, and I have on some jelly balm. All hip, because it's sitting right there. And I only did that so I could look better to me. Now, as far as how I sound is concerned, it all depends on what I'm feeling at that particular moment. Somebody that had a nerve once to say that I sounded country. I played back the video and I did sound country in it. But God damn it, I live in the South. What the fuck? The thing about it is, but my mom was born in the South, but she spent a lot of time in New York. So my accent, if that's what you want to call it, flip-flops between three or four different things. Now, my father, also born in the South, and for most of y'all, you know, I'm in Tennessee. Big deal. Whoa, whoa. Ding, 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 ding. That's what we. That's what we have here. I mean, it's different than when I was in Atlanta. In Atlanta, it was just a lot of you know, every rap thing, every R and B thing coming through. Woo woo, whatever. That's what they talked about. Neither here nor there, whatever. But and to to kind of touch on something, it's like. Back in the day, one of the dreams that I actually had, and I'll probably go over it a little better in another video at some other time or whatever, but I wanted to do, I guess after watching all of the cartoons and the voice, you know, listen to all the different voices and stuff like that, because like one of my favorite movies is Mrs. Doubtfire, and when he is sitting there in front of that social worker doing, all, doing that can, entire spiel of nothing but like different voices and stuff, that's me when I'm being really, really silly. I have one voice. <laughs> I'll listen to people on TV and I will I will, you know, imitate them as best I can and so on and so forth. One of them little known things about me or whatever. And I have one I have one voice that I do. It just it, it just it tears my daughter apart. She is cracking up laughing to the point where she's crying and her stomach hurts. And for me, that's the best ever. I like that one. I like it when I do that one. And all she has to do is start me off. She has to start me off with one question. And all I do is I repeat the question and I go from there. And yeah, you guys will find out about that later. But there are points where, yeah, I get around my, you know, the family here that I haven't spoken to and gosh we came here in 04 it is now almost 2010 yeah I haven't spoken to him in about six years it'll be six years uh 20 yeah 2010 six years it'll be by what March March 12 something like that and so on and so forth thus the fun begins
but you know I've never smiled on cue we used to have a general manager to just walk around in Sears this motherfucker would actually take time out of his goddamn day to walk around the store and pass by me to see whether or not I smile at his ass motherfucker I don't like you what the fuck am I gonna smile at you for you're not that important to me I mean, you helping a small part of getting my bills paid and so on and so forth. But other than that, I mean, you know, I mean, I'm especially not going down on you or anything like that. So why in the fuck are you spending all of your damn time on your little lunch hour or whatever the hell it is? You going to walk your happy ass up the escalator and shit trying to find out whether or not I'm going to smile at your ass. I have gone through some of the dumbest shit ever. Once you, man, I wish these kids would understand that your life changes completely the moment you sign that dotted line that says you work for this company. When you start filling out applications and you get that first job, your kidship is over. <laughs> you, you're in a whole nother realm, dude. Whatever. But yeah. This, I'm, I'm serious. This motherfucker would actually take time out of his day to come walking past the damn, I don't know what the hell you call it, walking the floor. That's it. Walking the floor and shit just to see whether or not I smile at his ass. And nine times out of ten when he walked by, I would be like this. And... So, your point is, then all of a sudden, after that little, little, whatever the fuck he was trying to do, <laughs> I would get this, you know, pull aside. Um, you might want to, you might want to start smiling more. He's going to periodically come up here, you know, kind of like a surprise to see whether or not you're smiling or not. I ain't never in my damn life heard of anybody getting fired for not smiling enough. But what the fuck ever. Because if it wasn't for bad luck, I wouldn't have any luck at all, which is something my mom used to say religiously. You know, my luck runs for shit like that. Hell, as far as I know, I probably could have gotten, I probably was one of the ones on the list from the last one because of that sign that I have over there that says you can't fix stupid, which is the damn truth. Yeah, I know that motherfucker as soon as he was, he was, he got on the floor, he was ready to, to let me go. I'll get over it. The only thing I miss about that job is the fact that I, I was in the double digits with my pay and I got paid every week. And it was a nice chunk of change. That's all I miss about that job. I don't miss some bitches that I work with. I don't miss what I was doing. Because it was a pain in the ass. And I'll tell you what I want as far as my next job is concerned. I want something that's easy, stressful, and part-time. I really don't want to be in somebody's face eight hours a day. For what? Give me five, six at the most. I'm good. I don't need the extra two. And I could care less about overtime. Overtime is overrated. Because as soon as you get it, they usually take it right back as far as taxes are concerned. You know the more you make, the more taxes they take out. You do know this, right? Okay, so whatever. Anywho, now I'm trying to think. What is it that I want to do with these little taggy doodles here? I do know now. So. Yeah. And then what was it? Something else. Oh, somebody decided one day that they wanted to try to direct me as far as my videos are concerned. I'm the director, bitch. I don't need another director. I don't need a producer. I don't need this. I don't need that as far as that kind of stuff is concerned. If you think you're going to help me, whatever. When I ask for suggestions, that's one thing. But you decide all of a sudden, um, you're mumbling. So, turn the sound up. Um, let's see. What was the other thing? Oh, the background noise. Now, my old camera was really, really bad about picking up more more background than it was me actually speaking. I, 
got a different camera now. I really don't have that problem. I mean, I have to turn this up super, super loud and really shout in order for that, me to have the same problem as I did with my old camera, whatever. So that's all fine, good, well, fantastic with all of that, but don't direct me. I can direct me. Get the hell out of here with all that. See. And let's see, what else was it? background mumbling always sound down and thank god it hasn't been anything as far as my damn music choices are concerned i mean a lot of the, to to the to the you always say on sound down fuck you to the mumbling fuck you background noise fuck you <laughs> lighting that's the issue i'm working out myself fuck you um let's see what else Oh, and smiling all the damn time? Yeah, that too. Fuck you. So, on that note...